Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa isa na naman episode ng online series ni Inang Pamantasan kung saan ang pagkatuto ay walang hindi. Ito ang PNU Talk. Ako nga pala si Prof. Raymond Belkac at ako ay learning from home by episode ito. Ngayong araw ay mag-uusapan natin ang turning Facebook groups into an online classroom as a quasi-learning management platform. Once again, welcome. This is Professor Reynald M. Cacho, graduate of BATS 2005 of PNU South Luzon. I'm here to talk about, to send about, and promote about blended and mobile-aided pedagogy or Facebook group as the quasi learning management platform. And at the same time, introduce the project LOPP. So what is blended and mobile aided pedagogy? How do I approach this kind of pedagogy or advocacy? It all started back in my high school teaching experience in Lopez National Comprehensive High School, where I organized a creative group of students. We responded to the call for Better Learning, Better Life video organized by UNESCO Bangkok. It calls for a three minute video that will capture or crystallize better learning, better life. And we joined the project. How did we respond to better learning, better life? In a workshop, I asked this creative group students, what is better learning? What are the challenges? What is the future of learning? What is a better life? And a lot more. And at the same time, introduce the video, which somehow capsulate this kind of knowledge. So we did the group, we did this, the workshop, we did the video, the idea is conceptualized. And I'm proud to present to you the three minute video that answers the question, better learning, better life, and perhaps the mobile aided pedagogy through social media. Presenting the LOPB. UNESCO, better learning, better life. UNESCO, better learning, better life. What's better learning, better life? Why go to mobile learning or social media learning? Learning is out of the board and beyond. Better learning for us youth means more than pen and paper tests, more than grammar and grades, geometric shapes, life of history icons, literature, photo editing, grades, and medals earned, or even more than this video. We learn better, but what if we cannot? Consider these challenges. Don't have enough technology. No to change school culture. Less talk, less mistake, no shoot. Let them young do it mentality. They can, I can, attitude. Blah, 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 blah. What I'm doing right now, teachers talk. There are problems, but what are the solutions? We need the right things for Collaboration, communication, visualization, management, problem solving, and most what? Right tools for creativity. Plus, the ultimate resources. PNU e produce innovative features. Optimizing the use of mobile phones. Computers, Facebook, or other social social networking sites, Google, and other better learning, better life apps that are coming that are now here. Better learning prepares us for the future. A better life with infinite possibilities, complexities. 
and uncertainties. We can be ready. Ready. As long as it's really out of the board. So this video is produced by the Lopez National Conference of High School KDP. My former students, now professionals. What informed my knowledge on the topic? When I transitioned from basic education, from high school teaching to university teaching, we were also able, or I was able to produce researches that combined theories into practice. One research about the use of Facebook in the classroom is the use of the, is the promotion of the 1090 model in the, the use of discussion wall, the comment and reply strategy in, as part of course activities. We also tried testing, piloting the use of mobile tablets, cheap mobile tablets, and testing different kind of applications as part of course activities. And also, we start. We all. Uh, I also explored the use of potentials and essentials of mobile mobile aided pedagogy, even back in 2017. Now it's becoming more relevant, more timely, and more practical to apply this mobile aided pedagogy. So why blend? Why mobile? Why Facebook? And how to be, how to FB group classroom? How? How to create classroom? Remember that these days, children are, do, do not anymore stay in one seat. But at the moment, they stay at home. They are everywhere. They can learn everywhere, even teachers. In a survey, conducted in the UK, it was found that 81% of the respondents have access to smartphone. And currently in the research of the PNU CPD, it validates this findings that 80 or eight out of 10 of the respondents, students have mobile device and they have access to data, internet. So using the smartphone is the most equitable, most accessible, and most effective de device platform that school universities can use to tap on these resources. Why consider smartphone also? A smartphone has smartphones have become part of our system. We check, we start, we use a smartphone even 24/7, almost 24/7, from getting up in the morning with your alarm. Um, commuting, texting, working, eating, talking with friends, watching TV, even paying taxes, and sleeping in at the middle of the night, or going to the comfort room. We even check our cell phone sometimes. So it has become, it ha the cell phones have become, smartphones have become ubiquitous. And it's all but proper to use this device for learning. Also, in, in studies, Facebook, have, Facebook is used for different uh, purposes. Its features like Epi Group is used for instruction, page, chat, and event. These are the common features of Facebook that, are, that, are, that were are integrated in the classroom. So taking advantage of these features in the classroom is a good opportunity. So, in a classroom or in, 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 in integra integrating Facebook, how do teachers use this? The teachers use the teacher of the Facebook tool to provide avenue for discussion and peer learning or assessment, and also where one can comment and other could reply and other could comment and post something, a quick, more like a Q&A posting comment and reply. Content development, of course, a teacher can present a micro lecture or demonstrate, make a live yeah, in, in, in its group, can create activities, more like a modular, which I will exp be explaining later. Sharing resources like sharing PDF, sharing videos, sharing text, pictures, images, 
different kind of form can be shared in Facebook. And it is used for support in self-organized learning and even group learning. Why use Facebook? One, it is popular among people, young people, although even older people get Facebook these days for pedagogical reasons. I remember TPCK, Technological Pedagogical Content Knowledge. You have the content knowledge, what to teach. You have the pedagogical knowledge, how to teach, what you know. And you have the TP, Technological, what available emerging, current or emerging technologies can be used in the classroom. Also, it matches millennial learners' expectation. External pressures for innovation and bridging in form, formal and informal instruction. From your formal LMS to your pseudo or quasi LMS, Facebook can be a backup. Even more, it's free, a free platform that teachers can use. But of course, backing up your resources is an advantage. <laughs> 